Birmingham, Alabama. Through the decades, through the centuries, travel across America with me on a five-mile walking tour of downtown Birmingham. In store, we have for you lots of old pictures of the buildings built in the 19th century and the early 20th century and what they look like today, such as the First National Bank, the Guarantee Land Building, for example, the Title Guarantee Loan and Trust Building, called the Title Building or the Title Guarantee Building, is a nine-story, 120-foot-tall office constructed in 1903 on 3rd Avenue North. It was across from the Jefferson County Courthouse, which we shall see what it used to look like because, unfortunately, we don't see it anymore because it's gone. The Title Guarantee Building was, after the Woodward Building, only the city's second steel-framed skyscraper. The owners boasted that the only wood used in the construction was for flooring. It was also the first building to provide tenants with electric power. That's awesome, isn't it? From its own generators. That's even more amazing. Fresh water was pumped from a well drilled below the foundations. Did you ever think about how these buildings got power and water? I didn't. The title building was erected in 1902 as just mentioned. But now, this is what we see, a beautiful skyscraper with glass doors, all modernized. For those of you who are wondering, this is what the Birmingham City Hall looked like in 1881. And look at this, I just mentioned the Jefferson County Courthouse. Look at this stunning structure. And look at the picture. It's kind of interesting, just a few carriages and a few people. But look at the structure. And beyond it to the right is St. Paul's Cathedral. You'll want to watch the short that I put out on the cathedrals and churches in Birmingham. The Jefferson County Courthouse site. The county seat of Jefferson County was moved from Ellington to Birmingham in 1873. On this site stood the first courthouse in the city of Birmingham. The Taliante style structure was designed by architect W.K. Ball and completed in 1875. The two-story red brick building cost $30,500. In 1887, it was condemned as unsafe and a new courthouse was planned. In 1889, a second Jefferson County Courthouse was constructed on the site, constructed in the Richardsonian Romanesque style. The four-story brick building had a central clock tower rising 180 feet. Total cost was $300,000. This courthouse served Jefferson County until 1931, when a new courthouse was built several blocks to the north. The structure was raised in 1937. Wow, what a shame. Just a little over, what, what is that, 50 years old? 11 and 37, 49 years old, 48 years old? That just seems kind of crazy, doesn't it look gorgeous? And now we find this Concord Center that was built on the side of the former Jefferson County Courthouse. There's just really no comparison, is there? Then we find the 1893 U.S. Courthouse and Post Office that was located on the southwest corner of 2nd Avenue North and 18th Street. Wasn't this an incredible structure? Was demolished Four decades later, look at this building. What could possibly have gone wrong that they needed to demolish it? I think it looks a lot like the courthouse, don't you? Birmingham is the most populous city in Alabama, and it was founded in 1871 during the Civil War reconstruction period by merging three small towns. Birmingham remained a primary industrial center from its foundation to the end of the 1960s. Its major industries were steel, iron, and automobile. The growth was disrupted by an outbreak of cholera and the Wall Street crash in 1873. The 20th century began with rapid construction. Downtown was redeveloped and the city earned the nickname of the Magic City. Between 1902 and 1912, Four large office buildings were constructed at the intersection of 20th Street. And you'll hear what those were called, and I hope you watch the video that I made on those four buildings. The economy and growth were disrupted again by the Great Depression of the 1930s. During World War II, when the demand for steel and iron increased, it gave Birmingham a rapid return to prosperity. Look at this picture of the Hotel Hillman. How about going to the Dairy Depot? I wonder what's there. Do you get a gallon of milk or do you get an ice cream? Hmm. In an upcoming video, I'll be taking you to the Sloss Furnaces. And as I've said before, I can't believe they let you walk around this place. It's kind of a mess, but it's so intriguing. 
you'll want to watch that video. The Pizzits is located at 120 19th Street North. Formerly known as the Pizzits Building, this gorgeous space that was once the flagship Pizzits department store is now known as the Pizzits. A food hall, apartment complex, and office space. Built in 1923 and renovated in 2016, this beautiful building played a large role in the revitalization of downtown Birmingham and serves as an essential hub for Magic City locals. We were so hungry, I kept thinking we would come across a coffee shop or somewhere great to eat, but we couldn't find anything to suit us. So we tried this food court, and don't tell anybody, but when we walked in, it was like, oh, it did not smell appealing, so we just kept moving on. But it is a gorgeous structure. And if you want to learn more, go to downtownbhm.com. I did enjoy seeing this map that they had in the lobby. It did identify a lot of sites, but not all the ones that we were going to, and some that we weren't going to. There is so much to see in Birmingham. I am going to take you to many more places, but before I do that, do not forget to subscribe. And if you have, thank you. And look at this building. If you want to buy an old world building, there's one for sale. Wouldn't that be cool to buy one of these buildings? Thank you for sharing my travel videos. I found this building. Look at the detail of this building. It's called Landmark Center. And then one of the buildings that I had focused on finding was the Florentine Building. It's located at 2101 2nd Avenue North. It was built in 1927. And this beautiful terracotta clad two-story building is a timeless space now used for special events, including weddings and corporate gatherings. And when you look at it, you can see exactly why. Originally built for a club Florentine, this building has seen several tenants, such as a bank, a restaurant, an alteration shop, Shop, a barber shop and a nightclub and that's one of the things that you find about these downtowns just through the decades they go up and they go down the tenants change from retail to office to residential it's all kind of interesting it was purchased in 2008 by the owners of Coretta catering and the florentine underwent a 2.5 million dollar renovation to become the beautiful special event space that it is today simply gorgeous isn't it it looks like it belongs in Florence, doesn't it? And not Birmingham. And then there's City Federal, located on 2nd Avenue and 20th. It's 27 stories high, and it was formerly known as the Jefferson County Savings Bank Building and the Comer Building. It was the tallest skyscraper in the Southeast when it was constructed in 1913. The building was purchased in 2005 and underwent $20 million in renovations to transform the space into luxury condos, which it remains today. This beautiful building is a centerpiece to downtown Birmingham and boasts some of the best views of the Magic City from the top floor. And that was what we heard, and so we went to the city federal to get to the top floor to see the views. But what we found was a guard at the front door. And we asked him, we said, can we get to the top floor? Can we get in? Can we get up there so we can see the views? He goes, um, no, I've worked here for 10 years and no, people cannot get in to just go to the top floor to see the views. What a shame. Oh, and look, safe deposit boxes. You'll have to go back and watch one of my previous videos when I talk about safe deposit boxes. I think I might have mentioned it in two different videos. Be sure to watch my other videos in the architecture playlist. And as I already mentioned, please be sure to subscribe. Richard Massey commissioned the construction of the 65,000 square foot tower in 1925. It is of Spanish Moorish architecture. The building's terracotta ornamentation features spiral fluted columns and pointed elements atop the parapet meant to mimic minarets. Estuchins over the recessed archway entrances on each facade bear the builder's initials, M. And then, what about the Birmingham Railway Light and Power Building? I found this old photograph. The Birmingham Railway Light and Power Building was a four-story brick office building constructed in 1902 for the Birmingham Railway Light and Power Company. It was located on the northeast corner of 1st Avenue North and 21st Street. That's just around the corner from the heaviest corner on earth. Part of the ground floor of the building was used as a public showroom for gas-powered and electric appliances and equipment. Unfortunately, the building was destroyed by fire on May 8, 1914, and a new seven-story building was constructed on the same site in 1915. The Alabama Power Company building was built in 1925 and is located at 618th Street North. 
This Art Deco style building is the sixth tallest building in Birmingham. Additionally, to make the structure even taller, you'll find a golden statue at the top. Standing at 23 feet tall and weighing approximately 4,000 pounds, Electra became a Birmingham icon when she was dedicated in 1926. And she shines on, as you can see her from blocks away. We found this building. It is now housing the McWayne Science Center. And you see the clock? Of course, I was drawn to the clock because, as you know, I love clocks in buildings and in downtowns. This is the Loveman's Clock. It says at this very location, the Loveman's Department Store Building in its heyday was the hub of the business district and the very center of town where people would ask friends to meet me under the clock when visiting downtown Birmingham. How cool. Just gotta love those clocks, don't you? Have you told a friend about my videos? Share my videos on your social media and be sure to watch the short on the cathedrals. They are very impressive. And then there's the video on the culture and arts of downtown Birmingham through the decades. You will not believe what you'll see. Everything from The Temptations to the Tutwiler Hotel. That's quite a variety. And then if you have to potty, you go potty in a vault. You'll have to watch that video to find out what on earth is she talking about? Pottying in a vault? Yes. At the Federal Reserve? Really? And then, as I mentioned earlier, what about that heaviest corner on earth? You'll have to find that video and watch it. It's on my YouTube channel, Unclassic Road Trip. The heaviest corner on earth. What could that possibly mean? And then, did I really find the best peanuts? Were they boiled or roasted? Did I like the boiled peanuts? You'll have to watch that video to find out which ones we ordered and if I liked the boiled peanuts. Flip-flops on the ground and classic road trip. And we will have one more video on our five mile walking tour through Birmingham, Alabama.